Are you looking to utilize the annotation feature from Zoom Meeting, but maybe you're on your iPad or your tablet? Well, I made a part one of this video where I talk all about annotation and how to do it as like a co the host in the meeting. And I had a couple of you guys comment about how you couldn't figure out how to do it on your iPad or on your tablet. So I'm gonna show you how you can use the annotation feature on your tablet. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based here in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events Podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson, and we drop new episodes every single Wednesday wherever you listen to podcasts. We have about 25, 30 minute episodes, and they just dive deeper into some of these topics that I cover here on YouTube. We're also hosting the first ever Better Events Conference this December 20th. It is virtual, so you can join us as well. And this is gonna be an opportunity as event professionals for us all to learn, swap our war stories, and walk away with some real connections that are gonna to lead to either business or personal development in the new year, so we can't wait to see you there. So like I said, this is a follow-up. I, I said it's kind of, there was a part one, but this is really just a follow-up video to my first video, which I'll link here and link below about annotation because I had a couple of you guys who said you couldn't figure it out on your iPads. And so I'm just gonna show you real quick of what I mean by annotation. So this is a screen, this is a video recording of me screen sharing a slide in Zoom. And you can just see, I'm gonna start annotating here and you'll see some stars start to appear and I'm drawing. Um, so annotation is just the idea that anyone is kind of marking up on top of your slides. And so what you're seeing is from my desktop, I'm doing this as the host of the meeting. Now again, watch my part one if you haven't, that's gonna be a much better idea of what we're dealing with. All right, so this is a recording of my iPad. You would start seeing people annotating, so you'd probably do what I would do, which is I'd look at that more three dots, I'd start scrolling and I'm like, I don't see annotation. Now here's the tricky part. The tricky part is it actually is in that left-hand corner, that little like pencil icon, and that's what popped up this whole control bar where then you're able to stamp just like everybody else, you can draw, and so those stars are from my desktop and the hearts are from my iPad. So again, it's gonna be in a different spot up top on your desktop is where when you're on your laptop, it's up top where you can see to start annotating. Here on your iPad, it's gonna be that lower, this lower little icon. It looks like a little pencil. For me, it was in my lower left-hand corner. I was in you know, landscape mode on my iPad. Um, and that's when I clicked that, that's how I got to that high, this big pop-up menu that came up um, by clicking. And you can see now that little arrow has disappeared. So yes, so this is how I just kind of am gonna pause this video here so you can see from my screen share. So this is the annotation feature. When you're on desktop, it appears here at the top. But when you're on your tablet or your iPad, it's gonna show up on the left-hand side. So again, text, fit, draw, the heart is kind of your, is you know, your hearts, your stamps, your eraser, you can change your color, go backwards, forwards, delete, and download. Now, one of my big things, and most of you have said this in the chat, but uh, you wanna make sure that annotation is enabled. It has to be enabled or you will not see this feature. You'll see someone screen sharing, you can't just annotate their slides. I often have advised people to turn annotation off unless there's a purpose for why they want it. So you as just a regular attendee at a webinar cannot start annotating on someone's page unless they have initiated it. Well, hopefully that answers your question about how to do it on your iPad. Again, go back and watch my part one for desktop, but this is a nice little helpful part two for anyone who's gonna be joining you from um, a tablet. That brings me to the end of my video. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based here in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do lots of videos about Zoom, event production, event planning, you name it. I'm starting to have videos about it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.